welcome back and um i haven't made a youtube video in a long time where we sat down and talked about a movie over four months of time i haven't made a video like that because i've been so busy with school and i'm on vacation so i decided on vacation let's make a one year anniversary video since i posted my first video in like september or something i made this channel on like september 16th and posted a video on like the 20th or so and so um i'm deciding to make a video taking two movies of this year that really um i enjoyed it in and it's a micro budget movie by the same guy mark polonia and so i decided to review those two um which i'm probably going to get those two video dvds for christmas i've already watched them on youtube though so um they're not that great of movies but they're enough for i can rewatch a lot so the first one sharkula is pretty much really like it's a really good one like um I rated it a 2.5 out of 5 on Letterboxd, and it's not the best one out of these two. But it, um, it's about, like, Dracula falls off a cliff, bites a shark, shark becomes, um, Sharkula. And then they, and then, um, a year later or so, um, Dracula, it runs this whole town called, like, Arkham or something. And, um, he sacrifices virgin, virgins girl virgins to um sharkula and it's really weird um let me talk, talk about the quality of it i know it's a micro budget so it's probably made with five thousand dollars or so um the shark in it looks like a puppet with um bat wings pretty much and it's really cheap cheap and cheesy but i watched it with my grandparents last night and we just sat there and i thought i busted a gut i was laughing so hard at like the stupidness of it um and so, yeah, we watched it along with Bird Dimmick, which, um, I'm on their, I'm on my quest to show them the worst movies I can think of, um, quality-wise. Now, for this to release in 2022, it is not that great of video quality. It looks like it was filmed with an Android. But, um, besides that, it's enjoyable in some scenes. Like, the climax is very enjoyable, but the ending is really cruddy because it's just them sitting and talking. And... The last 30 minutes are pretty much, or 10 minutes is taken up of sitting and talking about backstory. And that was really unneeded. I know Wild Eye releasings, I've checked, you have to have a 70 minute film. And so I think they added stock, they added stock footage of a girl twirling. And then they added just really long talking scenes that was not needed. Um, but Wild Eye released this and the cover, okay, the cover of the movie is really cool. Like you would think it's put effort a little bit into it you get into it and you're like wow but um i rated a 2 out 2.5 um out of 5 and um i'd probably watch it again now the other one amityville in space is a little bit um more weirder but it's put effort into it um so it i rated it a 3 out of 5 it's just one notch up from sharkula but it's way more enjoyable, but it's a little bit boring in some scenes. Pretty much the first 40 minutes of it is very boring. Um, but the rest of it has, like, um, this demon monkey-looking creature that um, pretty much tries to kill the whole people um, of the spaceship. And then the Amityville house gets in space, and it's really weird, but it's a really good Amityville film. I've only watched maybe three Amityville films. Um, Amityville 3D that released in 1983. Amityville Island, which released in 2020, and Amityville in Space, which is probably the best Amityville I've watched of the low-budget Amityville series. Um, it's really great deep dive into um, it, and plus it has Jeff Kirkendall in all of these, which Jeff Kirkendall, I can get along with him. Like he is real, he's not that great of an actor, but I can watch his acting because he's pretty much in every Mark Polonia film of the 2010s. And, um, I, I like it. I like it really a lot. He plays good characters. He, mostly his character, he plays his father, Benna, which is a character that is in Noah's, Sh Noah's Shark. It's in, um, Amityville in Space. It's in a lot. Like, Father Benna is, like, a very big character in Mark Polonia's films. Now, Mark Polonia, I'd like to talk about him since we're deep diving into his. His movies are hit and miss. I can watch one rated a 4 out of 5, like Feeders 2 Sleigh Bells, and then I can watch one like Hell on a Shelf, and I rate it a 0 
out of um out of five and yeah i really didn't like hell on a shelf because it was so boring but we'll get around to reviewing every mark polonia film to date and so um yeah but i don't won't know how to do that because i'd have to update it every year and so i'm going to do a whole series where i update it every year plus i'm also going to be doing a series of the worst movies i've ever watched but the most enjoyable movies i've ever watched that series will come out probably in 2023 of january ish um i'm thinking a lot for next year um i'm probably not going to be posting this lot next year i'm pretty much going to be posting movies i make i'm right now in the process of um <clears throat> of making killer elf on the shelf because i thought i could make a better film than hell on a shelf and so i think i can make a better film um but to wrap up the video um thank you for all my 213 or so followers that have been following me for over a year i know multiple people have unsubscribed because they're really not interested in my content it's fine i'm just starting up um, remake, doing videos again, um, and, yeah, so, uh, I think I've been doing pretty good. By next year, 20, December 2023, I hope to get 400 followers, if I can do that, um, but, yeah, so, that is my whole entire review of Sharkula and Amityville in Space, um, check my other videos out that I've made a couple months ago, and check my short films out that I've put on here. Um, so, yep, see ya.